Coming up on Mid Hill Sports tonight, highlights and players of the week on the diamond from both the Summit League and the NSIC. Then learn about the newest 2018 Northern Sun Conference champs, Augustana women's tennis and golf. And finally, even more from the NSIC. David Brown joins me in studio to break down spring football for Minnesota Crookston, MSU Moorhead, University of Mary, and Minot State. All of that plus much more, Midco Sports Tonight starts right now. Hello and welcome to the show. I'm Kelly Stewart and this is Midco Sports Tonight. We will start today in the Summit League. Warmer weather meant baseball and softball teams actually got to take to the diamond without rescheduling or moving locations. Great news, even if it is the end of April. But anyways, let's start with the guys. It was a showdown weekend in the Summit League, and all six teams played conference games. League-leading Oral Roberts visited South Dakota State for three games, and the Jacks got the upset in game one with a 3-1 win, but the Golden Eagles took the Saturday and Sunday games by a score of 7-3 and 8-1 respectively. Moving up I-29, Western Illinois was at North Dakota State. The Bison dropped game one 7-2, but came back on Saturday to get a 3-1 win with the help of Jace McLean, who had a home run. But Western Illinois got the rubber match on Sunday with a 4-0 shutout of NDSU at Newman Outdoor Field. And on to the final two Summit baseball teams. Fort Wayne got a couple of impressive wins over the weekend, notching two shutouts over Omaha, 11 to nothing and five to nothing. Chase Fields, Phelps, excuse me, threw a one hitter through seven and two thirds innings with six strikeouts to help Fort Wayne gain some momentum to try and turn their season around as the Summer League Baseball Championship Tournament starts exactly a month from yesterday down in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let's take a look at the current league standings. Oral Roberts still firmly in the lead. But things get messy after that. Omaha, SDSU, Western Illinois, and NDSU all within a game and a half in conference play. And then Fort Wayne sits just behind that group at 5-13. and 13. And finally, our Summit League Baseball Athletes of the Week for April 16th through the 22nd. The two players are Mike Snyder, a sophomore second baseman from Fort Wayne, and Nick Rourke, a senior second baseman for Oral Roberts. The pitcher of the week went to Cal Henke, a junior right-hander for Omaha, so congrats to those three. Moving on to the softball diamond, South Dakota State polished off a successful series against Fort Wayne with a 10-3 blowout, a 5-4 nail biter, and another big 11-2 win on Sunday. So here's head coach Krista Wood on their weekend sweep over the Mastodons. Sometimes the, the close games are fun and they're exciting and they put the pressure, pressure on. And sometimes I feel like the blowout games are more stressful because you sometimes tend to lose focus and 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 so I don't know both games can be stressful in different situations but it's good for our kids to to win in both both situations as for the rest of the Summit League, here's a look at the standings. Western Illinois suffered their first loss in conference play over the weekend, losing 1-0 to Omaha, but they still lead the conference at 8-1. SDSU sits one game back at 8-3 after their sweep. North Dakota State also got a sweep over USD this weekend, and that vaults them to third place at 5-2, followed by the Coyotes, Mavericks, and Mastodons. And finally, our Summit League Softball Athletes of the Week and this time the Bison sweep the weekly award. So starting with the player of the week, it's Zoe Stavru. The junior second baseman hit 700 with an on-base percentage of 636 and a slugging percentage of 1,200. In game one at South Dakota, Stavru hit a sack fly to secure the 1-0 eight-inning win for NDSU. In game two, she recorded two doubles and four RBI for a 5-0 win. The Long Beach, California native also had a career-high Four for four effort, including her first home run of the season in the 2-0 win at South Dakota to complete the series. This is her second career player of the week accolade and first this season. As for the pitcher of the week, no surprise here, but it's NDSU senior Jacqueline Serdic. This is her 15th career pitcher of the week honor and fifth of this season. And by the way, 15 career pitcher of the week honors ranks second in league history. She went 2-0 against South Dakota, pitching two complete games and struck out 22 in 15 innings pitch.
pitched without allowing a single run. The Sparks Nevada native also collected her sixth and seventh shutouts of the year, bringing her career total to 20 and tallied double figure strikeouts in both appearances, which brings her career total to 32. Surtick ranks first in the league in ERA at 1.77, wins at 19, and strikeouts at 221. So congratulations to those two outstanding Bison for their honors. And remember, the Summer League Softball Championship is set for May 9th through the 12th up in Fargo. When we come back, we're talking NSIC. Specifically, some new conference champions have been crowned for the spring. Find out more when Midco Sports Tonight returns. Midco Sports Tonight, presented by Avera Orthopedics.